Nama Metro, the lifeline of Bangaloreans. It is over 70 kilometers long, making it the second largest metro system in India. But for a city like Bengaluru, making more metro lines is the need of the hour. Currently, uh, about 100 kilometers of metro lines are under construction in Bengaluru. In our series of detailed videos, we've talked about the yellow line that will run between RV Road in Mombasandra and the blue line that will run between Sil Board in Airport. In this video, we will talk about the pink line that will run between Kalina Grahara and Nagwara. Back in the year 2007, when the construction of Phase 1 of Bengaluru Metro was about to begin, the government of Karnataka had requested a survey of feeder routes for Phase 1. The Rail India Technical and Economic Service, or RITES, had recommended several monorail routes totaling 60 kilometers. One of its routes was entirely on Banarkatta Road from Banarkatta National Park up to its northern end at Hosur Road near Adugodi. At that time, Banarkatta Road was not expected to have high growth and dense population. That is why a monorail network was recommended. However, as time passed, it was understood that Banarkatta Road would need a higher capacity system than a monorail. Also, the government of Karnataka preferred the expansion of the metro rail system than the monorail system. This is why the line on Banarkatta Road was now planned as a metro rail. BMRCL planned a line between Banirgatta and Yelahanka. But since the airport metro blue line, which was in planning stage at that time, passed the same route, BMRCL opted to terminate the pink line at Nagwara. The Delhi Metro Rail Corporation Limited or DMRC had prepared the detailed project report or DPR of the pink line, which would run between Kalena Agrahara and Nagwara. One of the main observations in the DPR was that the line would have to go underground after Jayadeva flyover till Nagwara Junction. The pink line will run between Kalina Agrahara, previously Gottigare station in the south, and Nagwara in the north. It will be 21.25 km long, of its 13.79 km will be underground. 6.98 km will be elevated and the remaining 0.48 km will be at grade. The pink line will have interchanges with other Nama metro lines. We will have interchanges with the yellow line at the Jayadeva Hospital metro station, with the purple line at the MG Road metro station and with the blue line at the Nagwara metro station. Apart from these lines, the pink line will also have interchanges with the proposed phase 3 lines. It will have an interchange with the ORR West line at the JP Nagara 4th Phase Metro Station and with the Sarjapur Hebba line at Dairi Sak. Now let us talk about the stations on the Bangalore Metro's pink line. The stations on this line are as follows. The first station on the line is the Kalena Agrahara Metro Station. It was previously called the Gottigere Metro Station and is the southernmost station on the Banarkatta Road. The second station on the line is the Huli Mabu metro station. It will serve the traffic of Huli Mabu and surrounding areas. The third station on the line is the Indian Institute of Management Bengaluru or IAMB metro station, which will serve the traffic of IAM Bengaluru and surrounding areas. The next station on the line is the JP Nagar fourth phase metro station. Commuters can interchange with the proposed ORR West Orange line from this station. The next station on the line is the Jayadeva Hospital Metro Station. It will serve as an interchange station with the under construction RV Road to Bomasandra Yellow Line. Tower Kere Metro Station is the next station on the line, which was previously called the Swagat Road Cross Metro Station. These six stations are mentioned are the elevated stations on the line. From here, the line goes underground. Dairy Circle is the first underground station of the metro line which will serve the traffic around Dairy Circle, Nimhans and surrounding areas. Commuters can interchange with the proposed Sarjapur Hebbal corridor from this station. Apart after Dairy Circle, the stations on this line are Lakasandra, previously called Myco Industries, Langford Town Metro Station, National Military School, previously called Vellara Junction, 
Mahatma Gandhi Road Metro Station, where commuters can interchange with the operational purple line running between Chalagatta and Whitefield, followed by Shivaji Nagara, which will be integrated with the Shivaji Nagar bus terminal, Cantonment Railway Station, which will be integrated with the Bangalore Cantonment Railway Station, followed by Pottery Town Metro Station, Tannery Road Metro Station, Venkateshpura Metro Station, and Kadu Gundrena Halli Metro Station, previously called the Arabic College Metro Station followed by Nagwara metro station, the last station on the metro line. This station will be integrated with the silk board to airport blue line. Pink line has a total of 18 stations, of which 6 are elevated stations and the remaining 12 are underground. An important feature of the underground stations on the line is that their platforms will be smaller in length than that of phase 1. Phase 1 consisted of 7 underground metro stations. In 5 stations, the lengths of the platforms are 272 meters and in the remaining 2 stations, the lengths of the platforms are 240 meters. However, in the pink line, that is phase 2, the lengths of the platforms will be 210 meters only. This is due to higher land acquisition costs in phase 2. Also, much of the land required for phase 2 is privately owned land, further increasing the costs. However, in all underground stations, the width of the platforms is the same 24 meters. Despite the limited space within the stations, there will be no compromise on passenger amenities as per BMRCL. The open space present in the phase 1 underground stations will not be there in the pink line stations as the amenities will be shifted to that spot. For the construction of the elevated stage section of the pink line, BMRCL had floated the tender in March 2017 for the construction of the 7.5 km section from Kalena Grahara to the south ramp and construction of 5 metro stations at Kalena Grahara, Kulimavu, IAM Bengaluru, JP Nagara 4th phase and Tavarkere metro stations. It also involves the construction of the depot entry line to Kothanur depot. Please note that the Jayadeva Hospital metro station is being constructed as part of the yellow line by the joint venture of HCC and URC Constructions. The tender was awarded to Simplex Infrastructures for Rs 578.7 crores on 8 September 2017. Simplex was making very poor progress on the pink line. Their performance is reflected in the BMRCL's newsletters where the civil works on this stretch were 22 percent complete in December 2019 and only 35 percent complete in December 2020. Due to their poor progress, BMRCL terminated the contract with them and called a fresh tender in February 2021 for completion of the remaining works. Three firms, GR Infra Projects, AFCONS Infrastructure and ITT Cementation India uh, submitted bids for this contract. And GR Infra Projects emerged as the lowest bidder and for the contract and the tender was awarded to them in July 2021. BMRCL floated four tenders for the construction of the 13.79 km underground section of the pink line. Package 1 involves the construction of the 3.655 km section from the south ramp to National Military School metro station and construction of three metro stations at Dairy Circle, Lakasandra, and Langford Town. Package 2 involves the construction of the 2.762 km section from National Military School to Shivaji Nagar and construction of three metro stations at National Military School, MG Road and Shivaji Nagar. Package 3 involves the construction of the 2.884 km section from Shivaji Nagar metro station to the Shadi Mahal TBM Retrieval Shaft located between the stations Pottery Town and Taneri Road and involves the construction of two metro stations at Cantonment and Pottery Town. Package 4 involves the construction of the 4.591 km section from the Shadi Mahal shaft to the north ramp and construction of 4 metro stations at Tannery Road, Venkateshpura, Kadugundanhalli, and Nagwara. In June 2017, the, these bids were invited, and in February 2018, the financial bids were opened to reveal the lowest bidders. Four firms, Euler Mac, AFCONS Infrastructure, ITD Cementation India, and LNT uh, have merged as the lowest bidders for one package each. 
while LNT submitted bids only for packages 2 and 3, the other firm submitted bids for all packages. This table shows the financial bid values of the four companies in the four packages. All the companies have emerged as the lowest bidder in one package each. However, when the lowest bid value is compared with BMRCL's estimate, the bid values are 65-75% to higher than that of BMRCL's estimate. Thus, BMRCL had cancelled all the tenders. In the second round of tendering, the bids received were closer to BMRCL's estimate. Package 1 was awarded to Afcon's infrastructure, Package 2 was awarded to LNT, Package 3 was also awarded to Larson and Tubro or LNT, and Package 4 was awarded to IT cementation. These packages were awarded during February to November 2019. The depot of the pink line will be built in Kothanur, near the Kalena Grahara metro station. It will be built in 31.5 acres of land. Tenders were invited in December 2019 for the construction of the Kothanur depot. The scope of this tender involves the construction of the metro rail depot structures, construction of internal roads, site development works, and drainage works within 30 months. In January 2020, technical bids were opened to reveal a list of nine bidders, the Noida-based ISGEC Heavy Engineering Limited emerged as the lowest bidder and was awarded the contract worth rupees 150.83 crore on 9th July 2020. As of January 2024, civil works of the Kothanu Depot are 55.35% complete. For the construction of the Kothanu Depot, 700 trees have been axed, of which 629 are eucalyptus trees. In September 2022, bids were invited for the design, manufacture, supply, installation, testing and commissioning of 318 metro coaches. The contract also included the training of personnel up to 15 years. Of the 318 metro coaches, 96 coaches forming 16 6 coach train sets will be deployed on the pink line and the remaining 222 coaches forming 37 six coach train sets will be deployed on the blue line. Four firms, Alstom, CAF, BEML and Titagar Wagon submitted bids for the supply of these 318 metro coaches. BEML emerged as the lowest bidder and the contract worth Rs 3,176.43 crores was awarded to them in August 2023. By definition, a signalling system is a safety mechanism that controls the movement of railway traffic. In Phase 1, which includes the green and purple lines, the traditional distance-to-go signalling system or DTG system has been used. However, in the newer Phase 2 lines, that is the pink line, the yellow line and the blue line, the new communications-based train control signalling system or CBTC signalling system will be used. In traditional signalling systems like the DTG signalling system, the track is divided into fixed sections called blocks and it is known whether a train is present in the block or not. However, the exact position of the train in the block is not known. Whereas in the CBTC signalling system, the block moves along with the train and thus the position of the train is known accurately. This information is communicated to the other trains. Thus, the CBTC signaling system is less prone to failures and it offers complete flexibility. The CBTC signaling system also helps significantly in increasing the frequency of trains. Thus, it improves traffic capacity. Finally, the CBTC signaling system is more energy efficient compared to other signaling systems. With the use of the CBTC signaling system, the frequency of trains can be brought to 2 minutes and the CBTC signaling system will also allow for the driverless train operations. However, these trains will initially be operated by drivers. The Jayadeva Hospital Metro Station will be built on the intersection of the pink line and the yellow line that will run between RV Road and Bomasandra. The station has been built next to the Jayadeva Hospital. Before the construction of the Jayadeva metro station, the Jayadeva flyover took all the space in the junction. An underpass is also present in the junction. This made the construction of the station very challenging for BMRCL. 
Thus, in 2020, for the construction of the yellow line, the BMRCL had demolished the Jayadipa flyover. However, BMRCL promised to construct a road come rail flyover from Ragi Gudda to Central Silbur. Thus, Jayadeva Junction will consist of an underpass, the Ragi Gudda to Central Silbur elevated flyover, and two metro lines, the RV road to Bombasandra yellow line, and the Kalena Agrahara to Nagwara pink line. Let us now talk about the structure of the Jayadeva Junction. The Jayadeva Junction will be a six level elevated station. The first level is the existing underpass connecting Banerkata with Dairy Circle. The second level is the street level for road traffic. The third level consists of the flyover connecting Ragi Gudda with Central Silk Port. The fourth level will have the platforms of the RV Road to Bomasandra Yellow Line Metro. The fifth level will be the concourse level of the metro station. And the sixth level will have the platforms of the Pink Line Metro. The height of the rooftop of the station from the existing underpass is 34 meters, making it the highest metro station in Bangalore. This is an image of the Jayadeva Hospital metro station from the top view. Around 90% of civil works are complete on this section. The MG Road Metro Station will serve as the interchange station between the pink line and the operational purple line that runs between Chalakatta and Whitefield. Unlike the seamless integration of the yellow and pink lines at the Jayadeva Junction, MG Road Metro Station has received criticism for its poor short-term plan. Let me explain. The purple line is elevated and thus the MG Road Station of the purple line is elevated. However, the pink line station of MG Road will be underground. Not only that, the Purple Line has station has been built on the median of MG Road, whereas the Pink Line station has been built under the Kamraj Road. Both these stations are 100 to 200 meters away. Passengers will have to walk a lot to interchange, and this will cause inconvenience to children, women, and the elderly. However, BMRCL has promised that the Pink Line passengers will be able to seamlessly switch to the Purple Line and vice versa. The pink line station of MG Road will have four entry exit points. Exit 1 next to the existing metro station. Exit 2 towards the Rajendra Singhji Institute. Exit 3 towards the Manipal Centre. And Exit 4 towards the Army Public School. The paid areas of the purple line metro station and pink line metro station will be linked for interchange. The pink line was expected to pass very close to the cantonment railway station as per the original plan. However, BMRCL suddenly decided to move the cantonment railway station under a playground in Bamboo Bazaar, about 700 meters away from the cantonment railway station. This decision got many Bangaloreans worried and people opposed this decision. When BMRCL asked, was asked the reason for the change, they claimed that it was quicker to acquire land from the state government agencies and private individuals than the railways. However, the public was not satisfied by this reason. Due to public pressure, in September 2017, BMRCL held a press meet to explain the reasons for the shift. They claimed several reasons, which have been divided into three categories. First, we talk about technical reasons. The sharp curvature in the old plan would cause reduction in speed. The length of the tunnel between cantonment and Pottery Town was 1.6 km as per the old plan, whose construction would be an engineering challenge. Had the old plan been followed, the depth of the tunnel would be 30 meters. Second, we talk about the safety reasons. Due to the length and sharp curve of the tunnel, evacuation would become very tough in case of emergencies. Lastly, 1000 crore rupees will be saved when the new alignment is followed. These were the reasons cited by BMRCL for the shift. However, BMRCL assures that the cantonment metro station and railway stations will be linked by the means of a foot over bridge to facilitate the smooth movement of passengers. The Nagwara metro station will serve as the interchange station between the pink line and the blue line that runs between Central Silk Port and Airport. This interchange station will be very useful as passengers travelling to Hebba, Lielahanga or the airport from South Bangalore can interchange with the blue line at the Nagwara junction. The station is located near key areas such as the Manita Tech Park and Bharti City. The paid areas of the underground station of the pink line and the elevated station of the blue line will be linked. This will allow for the smooth movement of passengers. 
the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank has provided rupees 2,255.14 crore or 325 million US dollars for the construction of the pink line. This loan needs to be repaid over a period of 25 years at a moderate rate of interest. The European Investment Bank has provided 3,700 crore rupees or 460 million US dollars. This money will be allocated towards the completion of civil works in the underground sections. And the Japan International Cooperation Agency has provided rupees 1,372 crores or 165 million USD for the pink line. This funding will support essential systems like the rolling stock, signaling, automatic fare collection system, etc. Please note that the extensions or new lines that I will be talking about are just proposals and have not received any approvals for construction from the central or state governments yet. Keeping this in mind, let us talk about the proposals. In February 2024, BMRCL floated a tender for the feasibility study of a 68km line between Kalina Agrahara and Kardogoti Tech Park via Jigani, Anekal, Attibele, Sarjapura and Varthur. If this line is constructed, it will mostly be developed as a new line and not as an extension of the pink line, but will surely be integrated with the pink line. This line will connect the southern and southeastern suburbs of Bengaluru with the city centre. As of now, the feasibility study will assess key factors including the type of trains that will run on the line, either normal metro, metro light or metro new. It will also analyse the estimated ridership, alignment of the line, location of stations and construction costs. Based on the feasibility report, the government will approve or reject the line. In case of approval, the DPR will be prepared. Now let us talk about the proposed northern extension of the line. In the draft of the action plan prepared by the state government to make Karnataka a $1 trillion economy by 2032. A 25km line between Nagwara and the airport was suggested. This line would pass via Thanni Sandra. There was discussion regarding this line a few months back, but no further step has been taken by BMRCL to prepare the feasibility report of this line. Thus, this line remains merely as a proposal. For the construction of the tunnels, 9 tunnel boring machines or TBMs have been used. We will talk about the progress one package at a time. In package 1, 3 TBMs were used, namely TBM Varada, TBM Rudra and TBM Vamika. These TBMs were operated by Afcon's infrastructure. TBM Varada was commissioned in March 2021 from the National Military School Metro Station and achieved a breakthrough at the Langford Town Metro Station in November 2021. The TBM's parts were brought back to the National Military School Metro Station where the TBM was recommissioned to construct the parallel twin tunnel in January 2022. It made its final breakthrough at the Langford Town Metro Station in September 2022 when its job was over. The TBM's Rudra and Vamika were operated almost parallelly with a gap of around one month. TBM Rudra was commissioned from the South Ramp in April 2021 and made its first breakthrough at the Dairy Circle Metro Station in November 2021. It continued along its path and made its second breakthrough at the Lakkasandra Metro Station in April 2023. It made its final breakthrough at the Langford Town Metro Station in October 2023. TBM Vamika constructed the parallel tunnel. It was commissioned from the South Ramp in June 2021 made its first breakthrough at the Dairy Circle Metro Station in January 2022, made its second breakthrough at the Luxandra Metro Station in December 2022, and made its final breakthrough at the Langford Town Metro Station in August 2023. With this, tunneling work on Package 1 is 100% complete. Packages 2 and 3 were awarded to Larson and Tubro or LNT. Two TBMs were used in each package by LNT. First, we'll talk about Package 2, which involved the construction of tunnels from Shivaji Nagar to the National Military School. TBMs Avni and Lavi were used for the construction of tunnels in Package 2. TBM Avni was commissioned in September 2020 from the Shivaji Nagar Metro Station to construct the downline tunnel to National Military School. It made a breakthrough at the MG Road Metro Station 
in January 2022 and made its final breakthrough at the National Military School Metro Station in October 2022. Similarly, TBM Lavi was commissioned in February 2021 from the Shivaji Nagar Metro Station to construct the northbound tunnel to the National Military School. It made its first breakthrough at the MG Road Metro Station in April 2022 and made its final breakthrough at the National Military School in February 2023. Thus, tunneling works on package two are hundred percent complete. In package three, two TVMs Urja and Vindhya were used. TVM Urja was commissioned in July 2020 from the Cantonment Metro Station to construct the downline tunnel to Shivaji Nagar. It made its first breakthrough at Shivaji Nagar in September 2021. It was then shifted to Cantonment Metro Station again to construct the downline tunnel to Shadi Mahal Shaft. It made its second breakthrough at the Pottery Town Metro Station in June 2022, and made its final breakthrough at the Shadi Mahal TB TBM Retrieval Shaft in January 2023. Similarly, TBM Vindhya was commissioned in October 2020 from the Cantonment Metro Station to construct the northbound tunnel to Shivaji Nagar. It made its first breakthrough at Shivaji Nagar in October 2021. was shifted to Cantonment Metro Station made its second breakthrough at the Pottery Town Metro Station in August 2022 and made its final breakthrough at the Shadi Mahal TBM retrieval shaft in February 2023 from where the TBM was retrieved thus tunneling on package 3 is also 100% complete in package 4 two TBMs Tunga and Bhadra were used these TBMs were operated by ITT Cementation India TBM Tunga was commissioned from Venkateshpura Metro Station in July 2021 to construct the southbound tunnel to Shadi Mahal Shaft. It achieved a breakthrough at Tanneri Road in June 2022 and a breakthrough at Shadi Mahal Shaft in August 2022. The TBM parts were then shifted back to Venkateshpura to construct the southbound tunnel to Nagwara. It achieved its third breakthrough at the Kadu Gundana Halli Metro Station in December 2023. and is currently constructing the southbound tunnel to Nagpura. TBM Bhadra was commissioned from Venkateshpura in June 2021 to construct the northbound tunnel to the Shadi Mahal TBM retrieval shaft. It achieved a breakthrough at Tanneri Road in July 2022, a breakthrough at Shadi Mahal shaft in December 2022 was shifted to Venkateshpura to construct the northbound tunnel to Nagpura and achieved a breakthrough at the Kadu Gundana Halli metro station in February 2024 now TBM Bhadra will be dragged across the Kadu Gundana Halli metro station which will take 20 to 45 days and will be relaunched for its final drive towards the Nagwara metro station it is expected that all tunneling works will be completed by August 2024 tunneling works on this stretch are approximately 79% complete In total as of February 2024 91% tunneling works are complete As of January 2024 civil works on the elevated section of the pink line from Kalina Agrahara to the south ramp are 77.32% complete Civil works on the underground reach one from south ramp to National Military School are 86.19% complete on reach 2 from national military school to shivaji nagar are 89.71% complete on reach 3 from shivaji nagar to shadi mahal shaft are 87.71% complete and on reach 4 from shadi mahal shaft to nagwara are 67.33% complete civil works on the kothnur depot are 55.35% complete and the tunneling works are 91% complete talking about track link works 33.24% track link works have been completed on the elevated section from Kalina Agrahara to Tavre Kere and 1.03% track link works have been completed on the underground section from Deri Circle to Nagwara Finally when will this line open different sources show different dates of opening but as per the latest news Pink Line is expected to open by the end of 2025. And that brings us to the end of the video. Hope you like this video. Please subscribe, like and share this video. Give your valuable suggestions and ideas for my future videos in the comments. Thank you very much.